Good morning, gentlemen and ladies. Today we're Saturday, the 9th of September. It's the birthday. Yes, it's the 20th birthday of Marie-Ange. She's uh, 20 years old this year. And 2003, at 9 o'clock 28, she was born in the uh, Netherlands, in the province of uh, Holland, uh, near uh, Brossom. I forget the name of the hospital. But uh, Bonne Fête Marie-Ange. She's going to be here next week with my mom, uh, my stepdad Denis, and the uh, boyfriend of Marie-Ange, Tristan. And uh, yeah, uh, that would be a good fun. Now, for this week, uh, the weather was not quite nice. And like you all know, I'm still sick a little bit, getting better. I managed to do some uh, house and garage chores. Uh, as you can see, I, uh, I'll put my recycled oil. I'm going to put it at the, uh, the depot where they take care of it. I have also uh, all my uh, virus items gonna I bring down there. I also did uh, some, uh, well, you know, cleaning in my tractor. <laughs> uh, I managed, I was very happy about that because I was looking for a set of uh, telephone poles climbing, I forget the name about that, but it's a very good condition. And the gentleman that it sold it is a former uh, Hydro Quebec uh, line lineman. So he uh, gave me the a quick. Uh, we were talking basically the same language. He knew that I was climbing when I was young, and he also uh, I bought it also with the uh, the the harness with the new uh, modified. Um, line because as they climb you always stay attached you, you, you uh, when you pass the service line you, you there's a double uh, buckle so uh, i was very happy i just need to clean it better and oil the uh, the leather so the leather will be in uh, good but it, i'm very happy the price was right but the condition is outstanding so uh, yes, inside the house, just minor stuff, a lot of reading, and I never ever sleep like that so much. I mean, eight hours of sleep during the day, and maybe one to two hours during the day. Uh, no, eight eight hours during the night, and one to uh, two day, one and two hours per day. So yeah, everything is ready for winter. My snowblower, like you know, I fix it in the uh, in the springtime right away. My bioco is already greased. I uh, I don't think I will need it again uh, for the spring uh, until uh, next year. But we never know. The front bucket is doing fine. I may order. I'm thinking about that. A crush rock uh, for my main instruments. I think I'm missing a little bit. But uh, other than that, that's uh, that's that's gonna be my short video. Uh, and this year, yes, just let you know about my mower deck. This year we had such a wet summer. Every week I was cutting grass with my uh, mower deck, so uh, I cannot wait to see under if my uh, my best undercoating is working very well. I th I I'm gonna give you a, a scoop. It's working very good. I'm just gonna need to clean it. No more paint. No corrosion whatsoever. Uh, but uh, just a, a small uh, scoop. So uh, yes, this fall I will, I will have a lot of maintenance uh, or engine oil, uh, oil change. I already have the oil and the oil filter for my car. And uh, yeah, so I'm sorry, folks. Uh, usually I do much more than that. Uh, I I still didn't didn't have. To buy the cover or the treatment for the tower to install on my uh, trailer yeah so uh, definitely uh, a resting week because of that man cold <laughs> that I've got uh, things are improving probably by beginning of next week uh, I would be okay 
probably doing other stuff because uh, I mean the car it's not it good now I definitely have to attack the roof but they, they ask they calling for a all uh, week raining so uh, what I will end up doing probably I'm just gonna buy the concrete that I need I'm gonna buy everything the chimney part and just wait for better weather I cannot weld my RV because it's raining outside so other than that I maybe uh, I was thinking to repaint my uh, my door or insulate this uh, this side we'll see about that all right so <laughs> uh, I know you guys <laughs> you like seeing my uh, when I'm, I'm doing something but not too much talking so all right and uh, yeah all right so do please take care of yourself uh, thank you again uh, for the uh, supportive word um, and oh yes go see Chad Chad uh, at the color purple life Chad is making an outstanding series video of uh, what to consider when you're buying a tractor for a new uh, wannabe a tractor owner and he was very nice. He talked to me. He talked to me about my Mahindra tractor. I uh, and I would like to thank uh, Chad for that. But uh, his serious video, he put a lot of energy, a lot of work. So go see him. I'm gonna have the link of uh, my. Everybody know uh, Chad, the uh, color purple life, and his uh, outstanding uh, wife, and uh, the family that he work he, as he is. All right. So. Uh, and I love his Ford Ranger. <laughs> it's, I, I used to have one like this. So, uh, all right. So uh, please do take care of yourself. Remember, life is good <laughs> despite <laughs> some sickness. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll get better eventually. <laughs> all right. Cheers.